In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to whiten a teeth in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hi everybody, Innocent here. Welcome to the channel. Over here, we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. If you want to practice this, I'll leave a link to download the image in the description. So you download and then you follow suit. Now let's get into Photoshop and let's get started. All right, so the first thing you do is you import your image into Photoshop. I have an image here that is already PNG, but if your image is not PNG, you are going to just unlock the background and then you are ready to go. The first thing we want to do is we want to make a duplicate of this image. This is just to protect us, just in case we mess up the image, then we can come back to it. So we are going to hide the original copy over here and we are going to work with this one. The first method we are going to try, actually all the methods are the same, but we are just going to experiment the two and know which one is the best for us. So for the first one that we're going to try, we're going to go to the adjustment layer here and we add a hue and saturation on top of the whole of this image. Now we realize that we have a hue and saturation over here and what we are looking at for here is this kind of the yellowish on the teeth that we want to get rid of. So what we can do actually is we can go to the master here and then turn all of these or select the yellows from here. From then we are going to decrease the saturation of the yellows so you can see that it is already taking effect over here and then we can come to the lightness at this point and drag it to the very right side and make it way brighter like this at this point this looks way better but you realize that the hue and saturation has affected the whole of the image so what we can do is we can then make sure that it is affecting only the image that we want so we go and select the layer mask attached to the hue and saturation and you press ctrl plus i to invert the hue and saturation from there you go and pick your brush tool and make sure that your foreground color is white remember how your foreground color is black it will be deleting when it is white it will be revealing so at this point you can scale into the parts that you want and then you can start brushing off these areas that you want to reveal and now you realize that we have a hue and saturation but it is only affecting the part of the teeth if this is confusing for you the very basic way to do this is to go for let's say your lasso tool over here and we are going to make a selection all around this part the part that we want to whiten so if you are using kind of the pen tool or the polygonal lasso tool this should also work for you so you make a selection here you go to image and then adjustment and then you select the hue and saturation so the same method the reason why i said that we are getting rid of the yellows over here is when you bring your cursor here and then you left click you see that it samples the color over here for you so we are going to select the master select yellows and then we decrease the saturation to zero and then we increase the lightness to the last part probably that we want the advantage to this one is if it feels like it is not too bright for you you can even press ctrl m and then activate the curves and open this up a little bit like that but this looks more edited okay so something like this should be fine and then you click ok you press ctrl d to deselect and then you just move from this to that i hope this video was helpful if it was and you'd want to see more videos quick tips and tricks like this let me know in the comment section and thank you so very much for sticking around to watch this video if this was helpful a subscribe to the channel will be so very bright i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye